Morocco. Across the whole of the Middle East, except for Nile-bound Egypt, runs an ancient social contrast between an Ascoons up, Ascoons puts it, the Tami and the insolent, the domestic and the independent, between those living within the political, economic and cultural orbit of the great generative cities and those living in, if not precisely outside that orbit along its fringes and providing the supply of, of rebels who since the beginnings of the Bronze Age have kept the urban civilization, civilizations refreshed and in motion between the central power of the Shahs and Sultans and the suborn literarianism, literarianism of the old line tribes there existed and to a great extent still exists a delicate balance When the state was strong, the tribes were obligated to give it at least grudging, grudging recognition and to check their anarchic impulses. Then it was weak. They ignored it, plundered it, or one or another of them even overdrew it to become in turn the carriers and defenders of the urban great tradition. For the better part of the time, however, neither fully effective despotism nor mere tribal rampage prevailed, rather an uneasy truce between center and perimeter was maintained, trying them, trying them, tying them together in a loose system of give and take, under which mountaineers and nomads come, come come to town free, freely, their fastness and are left alone, and they let the caravans or of travelers, travel, travelers, traders, and pilgrims cross their territories without hindrance or inconvenience over the above the normal rigors of, rigors of travel. In Morocco, this contrast was always been particularly strong in part because so much of the terrain is montano, montanos, montanos, in part because of the gradual superimposition after the 7th century of an Arabic culture, migrant from Arabic culture migrant from the east upon a relatively large indigenous Berber population, and in part because of the country's relatively great distance from the primary fossil of Middle Eastern civilization in Egypt and Mesopotamia. The complex early history of the region aside the establishment of the Arabized Islamic reformist Sherif, Sherifian dynasty toward the end of the 17th century and the subsequent royal efforts to reduce the field of Berber customary law in favor of Quranic law to repress saint worship and cultic practices and to purify Islamic belief of local pagan accretions reinforced the distinction between Bled, all Maxen, the land of government, and Bled Asiba, the land of insolence, claiming, claiming direct descent from the prophet the meaning of the the meaning of the term sheriff the dynasty which rules until today attempted to attempted attempted to assert both spiritual and temporal power over the more arabized population of the atlantic plains as well as well as over the more berberized ones of the encircling reef and the atlas mountains But though the spiritual claim that of imanship has been commonly accepted, the temporal has been more of the sometime thing, but particularly in the peripheral on land regions, those arose perhaps the most shrinking and distinctive features of the Moroccan political system. 
the attachment of the urban and peasant populations of the plain to the sultan as autocratic head of a rather developed patrimonial bureaucracy, the caxen of, of ministers, notable soldiers, magistrates, clerks, policemen, and tax collectors, on, on the attachment of the tribal peoples to his person of Lord of the Believers, but not to his secular government of its representatives. By the time of the establishment of the French and Spanish protectorates in 1912, the Sultanate had become so seriously weakened by a combination of internal corruption and external subversion that it was unable to exert effective control not merely over the mountains but in the plain as well. Though for a decade or, or so the signorial Preconsulship of Marshal Liute held the tribes in check and, in a somewhat paternalistic way, reinvigorated the Maxim bureaucracy after his departure. His successor, successors initiated the so called Berber policy, dictated to, to drawing. A sharp distinction between Arab and Berber and isolating the, la the latter from the influence of the Maxian entirely. Special Berber, school, Berber schools design designed to produce a Berber elite were set up. Mission 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 missionization increased and most important the symbolic supremacy of Quranic law and those of the Sultan Aziman was undermined by the, by the placing of the mountain tribes under the French criminal code and unofficially recognizing the judicial competence of customary tribal councils in civil disputes. <sighs> Coinci coinciding with the rise of the intense Islamic pluralism of the Egyptian and Afghan Parisian reformers, Abdul and Al Afghani, among the notables of the Arab Arabized towns, and particularly those around the ancient Qarawijin University at Fez, the Berber policy and its implied threat to Islam stimulated the growth of nationalism under the banner of defending the faith against European sponsored seculariz secularization and, Christ and Christianization. Thus, even if under rad rather seriously altered conditions, the national movement in Morocco has also taken the classic form of attempting to strengthen it The integrative power of a generally mid-eastern urban civilization against the centrifugal tendencies of tribal particularism. The exile of Sultan Mohammed V by the French in 1953 and his widely triumphant re return as a national hero in 1955 put the cap on this political and cultural revival of the Maxim and, and inaugurated after independence was achieved, a new state regime perhaps most applied, most aptly described as a modernizing auto autocracy. With the French and the Spanish gone, the Rabat Sultan Sultanate has become again the double-pronged Pronged pivot of the system, the major nationalist party, the Istiklal, Istiklal is in de its independent power undercut by the lack thus far of national elections, election of a genuine parliament, has become the incumbent of a somewhat modernized but still essentially 
patrimonial maxim led by conservative Arabized notables of the lowland cities and towns and against most especially of Fez, La Ville Saint de l'Islam, La Metropole de l'Arabisme, et La Vara Capitale du Maroc, Capital du Maroc. It has attacked it as, a, as the administrative arm of the throne, a college of visors, visors domain, dominating the royal appointed councils of government, the party rationalized civil bureaucracy, and the reinstated and reformed Islamic judicial system, but as the attitude toward Istikat among the tribesmen has been like their attitude so to, to earlier palace, official down, official domes at best lukewarm at the worst actively hostile, the relationship between the Sultan and, and at least the more intact peripheral tribes has remained essentially personal, loyal to the king and re resist resistance to his government, the tribes has been have been since the transfer of sovereignty as they were before it, the main source of primordial threats to national integration. Since 1956, interland crises have, have come thick and fast. The absorption into the royal army of the irregular military force formed from among the tribes during the sultan's re exile the so-called liberation army has proved to be a most ticklish task leading to open clashes only after the king firmly removed the royal army from istiklal influence and attached it directly to the palace under his son prince Moulay hassan a brief of staff was the tension in part eases eased in the fall of 1956, a Berber shifting from the Middle Atlas, an intimate of the king and a bitter opponent of the Istlikal, resigned his post as interior minister in the royal cabinet and returned to the mountains to preach primordialism to the tribes. It is the, tribe, it is the tribes who have made the glory of Morocco calling for the dissolution of all political parties. It is, contrary. it is contrary to the interests of the country to confer responsibility on men who totally ignore the tribes. And a national rally around the figure, figure of Mohammed V, v. We have in this nation both weak and strong, united, on the same mountain and under the same skies, they are equal before the king. His efforts soon ceased, and at least openly, evidently upon the advice of the king. But a few months later, an even more traditionalistic Berber, the governor of the southeastern province of Tafilel, went into semi-revolt, simultaneously refusing to obey as a party which hinders us from living as we wish, and declaring his un, un, undying loyalty to the Sultan. The king soon satur, secured his peaceful submission and placed him in forced residence near the imperial palace, but in late 19, 1958 and early 19. 59, 59 sporadic uprising also occurred in the north and northeast. They too began contained with, within narrow limits, largely through the agency of the king's personal popularity, diplomatic skills, the skill, military strength, and religious charisma. Yet the modernizing aspect of the new Moroccan state is, a, is, as, is as real as the autocratic and probably more enduring. The restlessness of the tribes does not represent merely the past and the province against the, figure, the future and the nation. 
but the concern of the traditional land of insolence groups to find a secure and accepted place in that future and nation. The development fears clandestinely and then as the various parapolitical expression of tribal dissatisfaction collapsed, openly of a new traditional political party, the popular movement as the vehicle of rural aspiration, aspirations is but one of the more obvious signs that mere hostility to urban culture and unbe unbe unbending resistance to central authority is coming to be replaced among the outlying peoples by a fear of being rele relegated to second-class citizenship within a modern civil order. Under the leadership of the former head of the Liberation Army, Ahardian, Ahardian, and with the vaguest of programs, Muslim Socialism, and a new union around the king as Iman, not just for Morocco but for the whole Maghreb. Maghreb. The new party has at best but one foot in that, in that order, but, uh, but as a rapid consequence of very serious political mutations, the holding of local elections, the breakaway of the left wing of Istiklal to form a proletarian party, the sudden premature death of Mohammed V and the succession of his, of his less popular son have cast a cloud of uncertainty over the future of monarchical government. In the last couple of years, the new state may well find itself increasingly hard-pressed to satisfy and contain the subtle fusion of traditional Siba sentiments and modern political ambitions Neatly, neatly summed, summed up in Ahardain's stiff naked slogan, we have not acquired independ independence in order to lose liberty. True it, is, true it is, though it is perhaps true that is the long run the modernizing aspects of the new Moroccan state is more enduring than the autocratic. Over the last decade, it is the autocratic which has flourished. The king, Hassan II, sus suspended the constitution and dissolved parliament in 1965 after riots in Casablanca led to the death, largely at the hands of government forces of anywhere from 30, the official count, to several hundred people. The king took direct control of the government, ruling by executive fiat and systematically reducing the influence of the two major parties, the Islamist Istiklal and the Socialist Union Nationale des Forces Populaires, and the urban Arab masses, which for the most part formed their constituencies. The period was one of the uh, was one of accelerating neo-traditionalism neo neo as Assam attempted to draw various, various sorts of local notables, many of them Berber and army officers, the great majority of them Berber, into direct personal loyalty of the throne. In 1960, the so-called state of exception was at least nominally ended when the king promulgated a new constitution and announced general elections. The parties, except for the Berber-dominated movement Popular, found the constitution, in, the constitution insufficiently democratic and the elections insufficient, insufficiently free, however, and regarded the whole maneuvers, maneuver as an effort by the king to institutionalize and legitimize the throne-centered throne system of neo-traditional government he had involved during his first decade of rule. Thus, though the elections were held and the, con continue, and the constitution approved under conditions generally held to be less than honest, 
the pattern of court and notable politics persisted, this pattern came to something of a dramatic dissolution with the attempt the attempted army coup at the king's 40, 42nd birthday picnic in July 1970, in which about a hundred of the approximately 500 guests, many of them foreign, were killed. A major five colonels and four generals were executed almost immediately. Others, including its leader, died in the coup attempt in it itself and a number of other officers were, were imprisoned, the degree of which primordial loyalties played a role in the attack is unclear. Almost all the leaders were Berbers, most of them from the reef, and most were outstanding beneficiaries of the king's favors under the throne centered policy. But since the attack, which was followed in August 1972 by another which also failed, the king was moved to de-emphasize de de the Berber role in the army as well as to find a basis of support among the Arab-speaking populations of the large cities that the two major parties, now united into a national action bloc, claim it to represent. Thus, whatever the reality of the bled and masken bled as cyber contrast might or might not ever have been, and I would not be in inclined to regard, to regard it as having never been as clear-cut or simple as European scholarship describe it, the distinction partially, partly cultura, cultura, cultural, Partly linguistic, partly social, partly a kind of ethno ethnopolitical myth, a traditional, almost instinctive, instinctive way of perceiving group differences between Arab and Berber remains an important, if elusive, factor in Moroccan national life.